What is happening, people? It is Brian Alzu, never say.com. And if you guys watched the last video, you remember where I said this. It is currently Friday morning, and I'm here at the gym. Grab my stuff because I have a contest in 24 hours. So it's going to be interesting how that goes. Probably going to go about as well as I sound. Now, the stupider, younger Brian Alzu, whenever a situation like this would arise in my past, like I'm sick, right? Poor comp. I would always say, bring it. I don't care how bad it is. I don't care how bad you feel good. I'm happy about it. Just bring it. Let's just do it. <coughs> oh, I'm sick. And the older, smarter Brian Alzu, as of Friday night, I was saying, there's absolutely no way you're going to compete. So start putting things in place because there's absolutely no way you're going to be there Saturday morning. So that is what I did. However, I woke up Saturday morning and felt even worse than I did Friday. However, I said to myself, you told everyone that you were going to do this. So if you made a commitment, you had to stick to it and see this through. So off to the competition I went. Now I was fortunate enough to win first place in the heavyweight category and I was really, really excited about that. And Phil Gruntzel, the owner of Muscle Mind, who puts on this competition, did an amazing job. Everything was really well organized. We knocked out four of the five events, I think in like two hours, everyone that was there. So it was a really, really cool opportunity. I really want to do the show because there was a lot of stuff in it that I normally haven't been able to either ever do before or that doesn't come up very often in shows, so I thought it might be fun to compete in it, even though I felt like I was on death's door. And I don't particularly feel a whole lot better than death right now. So the very first event was the Viking Press. Now, if you guys watched World Strongest Man this past year, you will have seen a lot of controversy over people getting no repped because there was no jerking allowed on the actual implement. And same thing was here, you have one leg drive. So what we typically do is you use one leg drive to get that bar moving, then use a second leg drive to catch the bar. You throw the bar and you catch it. But for the Viking Press, a lot of times you are not allowed to do that second catch for the jerk motion, which is why a lot of people got no repped at World Strongest Man. A lot of people got no repped at this competition, uh, but it was very light, so everyone knew it was gonna be a rep fest. Uh, I ended up getting 23 reps, which was good enough for first place, but honestly, man, I was in such a different place. I was literally throwing up or coughing on my brains out right before walking into every single event. It was a rough day for me, but I was able to pony up enough to come out with 23 reps, which was good enough for first place for that first event. Super happy about that. Event number two was supposed to be a keg and wheelbarrow type of medley where you had to carry kegs, load them into the wheelbarrow, then push the wheelbarrow down. It's basically a carry medley. However, they had a little bit of problems with the wheelbarrow and it was raining pretty much a lot of the day Saturday and had rained a lot previously. So um, they ditched the wheelbarrow. It was just gonna be a standard keg carry and load over bar. The distances were 30 feet, 20 feet, 10 feet. And honestly, I don't even know the weight of the kegs. I think the kegs were like 250, 275, 300, something like that. Anyway, I got that done in about 19 seconds, which is actually very slow for me. However, it was good enough first place. So I was super excited about that. These keg things was very easy for me because this is something that I've been practicing for like East Coast and pretty much a lot of contests recently have had a lot of keg carry load medley type of thing. So this was an event that I didn't really need to think too much about. I was just going to go in and try to be as smooth as possible, to be as fast as possible, put out the best time that I could. And I did that for feeling as bad as I did. I'm very, very happy coming out first place on that one. So excellent, excellent there. So there's one first place for the Viking Press, one first place for the Kegs. Event number three was the Fingal Fingers, and this is the main reason why I did the contest. You hardly ever see these show up in a contest, and I have never even played with them prior to last week, right before the competition. So it was really, really amazing. Uh, Phil, the guy who's promoting this contest, who owns Muscle Mind, that's a gym near my gym, he actually set it up for us on Thursday morning, the week prior to the contest, and just let us run through, and the fingers were 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 pounds. He had not had the 500 pound finger made yet, so we worked out to 400 pounds, and that really didn't feel too bad, but he told me that day, he's like, a 500 will probably be their day of contest. So I had never touched it, and I didn't know what to expect, but um, they said, you better ready, go, and I had a 200 pound finger, then 300, then 400, and 500, and it actually went really, really well. I had so much fun doing this. Now, I did not have much fun beforehand, because I was literally, I, I have like the flu or something, I am in bad shape right now and was puking my brains out. And literally they were like calling my name and I'm still throwing up so I had to come straight and go right into it. So really a lot of the contest was a mix of me laying around on the ground, trying not to throw up or trying to make my head stop hurting to immediately jump up, do the whatever event I add up, 
and then going laying back down. That was pretty much my entire contest. I wasn't really talking to people. I, I feel kind of bad about it. But on the last finger of the Fingal Fingers, I don't know when it happened. I don't know what happened. But I did end up breaking the, uh, the tip of my finger here. So that ended up hurting me later in the contest. But uh, I, I couldn't tell you exactly when it happened. It was somewhere in this transition where I went transition whether my finger got inside the pipe or not. I, I really can't tell you. But um, I break my fingers all the time in fighting, so it's really not that big of a deal. Anyway, I was super, super excited to finally get to do this in an actual event. I think the video is cool. I had an awesome time. Thank you, Phil, for setting those up earlier. So I had some idea what I was doing going into it. But that was good enough for a first place finish. So now I had three first places up to this point and next up was the deadlift now for the deadlift we had a regular bar set at 500 pounds an axle with hummer tires set at 550 pounds and then a frame which had 600 pounds and basically you had 60 seconds to get the regular barbell to the axle to the frame as many times as you could in the remainder of that 60 seconds so i got up to the frame and honestly i wasn't trying to move fast i was not feeling good at all i was just literally trying to just be slow, steady, and deliberate with every single rep. That's why you see me take so long to put my straps on for the frame. It literally was just me being, take your time, don't rush, just put up a good number. We'll see where it goes. You're standing in a good position right now as far as your points are concerned. So just put up a good number. Uh, and I started going on the frame deadlift and it really didn't feel bad at all. So I think I got like 15 or 17 or something. It was good enough for first place. So uh, that has me for first place all the way across with one event left which was the uh, Hercules hold. So like I just said, event number five was the Hercules hold, and I've never actually done this ever in my entire life. So uh, I locked in expecting to do okay, but uh, the broken finger definitely did not help on the grip as far as that goes. I held it for like 20 seconds. I don't even know where that put me. It was not good, but honestly, I didn't even need to do the event because I had the four first place finishes. So. Um, Overall, really, really awesome time. All of our people from our gym represented themselves well. Everyone just did an amazing job. Had a bunch of people up on the podium. Everyone was super great with their sportsmanship, with how they treated people with the, uh, there were some absolutely amazing events during this contest or, or amazing happenings during this contest. Like uh, one of our members, Mike, actually had to do a tiebreaker where they were doing keg over bar. And I think each one of them did like 17 reps of keg over bar back and forth until one person quit. That was a really, really cool moment of the competition. Seeing Nick, you guys know you guys know Uncle Nick. Seeing Uncle Nick do the 500 pound Fingal Finger, seeing Tuan do the 500 pound Fingal Finger was just really, really cool experiences during this competition. And I am so proud of every single one of my athletes and just how well you guys did, how you guys showed yourself, how you guys represented the gym. I could not be more proud of you guys. But I do want to take a second and just say a couple thank yous. Number one to my sponsor, Dave's Professional Services. Absolutely amazing job to Loyal Brand, who helps me out in so many different ways and get some awesome photos there at the competition. I thank you to all my friends, my family, my gym mates, my fellow competitors, the promoter Phil, everyone just outstanding job. I, you guys help me every single day just live the life of my dreams and I am just overwhelmed and so humbled. I feel so blessed that so much positive stuff just goes on in my life around me and it's all because of all of you just living awesome lives and doing amazing things. So I thank you guys so much. I also want to thank the cool people from Oxbody who gave Nick and I both a couple hats and some t-shirts. Really, really cool. And I want to take a second and just uh, talk to you guys about one of our athletes named Tommy. Now, Tommy is an adaptive strong man. He's been competing for a couple years now, and uh, he won the American title for the seated category. So now we have a belt at my gym for the American championships, which is really, really cool. Tommy is one of the greatest people I've ever met in my entire life. So I'm really hoping to do a little podcast with him coming up soon where we talk about his experience here. He's getting ready to go represent the United States at World. So hopefully I can get him in here. Tommy lost his leg in a car accident. So uh, hearing his story and what he's been through, uh, it's, it's going to be a good one. So stay tuned for that. That should be coming up soon. I'm also going to be doing a podcast with Miles. He is a guy with CP who you guys saw doing the medicine ball over bar. Atlas Stone Load a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna be having him on soon. Uh, I have the Q&A is coming out 
Uh, it's not gonna make it uh, today. Today's the last day of July, so it's definitely gonna be in August, the July Q&A in August. Again, you guys are welcome. These things happen, I suppose. Um, but that's gonna be coming out early this week. I do have a lot going on, a lot coming up, but some really, really awesome stuff is just right around the corner. I thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I thank you guys so much to all of you who are new, who are subscribed. I just, I am absolutely overwhelmed. I am so happy and just, I can't thank you guys enough. It really, it really does mean a lot. Uh, until I see you guys later in the week, go out, do something amazing with your lives, keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other, and I'll see you then. I'm gonna go drink some tea and eat some antibiotics. <laughs>